Prophet Noah's Prayer Prophet Noah, peace be upon him, finally understood. After long years of struggle, they will not be convinced. He had no strength and hope left. He turned to his Lord. O oh, my Lord, he said, I advised on my community night and day. However, they did not listen to me and moved away from me. Whenever I invited them to the right path, they put their fingers in their ears, covered their faces with their clothes, and showed arrogance. They rebelled against me. They followed despotic people whose wealth and children provide no benefit to them. My invitation increased only their rebellious attitude. Moreover, they led each other to evil. You are the only one who will decide between me and my community. My Lord, forgive me, and forgive the believers with me, and punish the wrongdoers. Allah is all-seeing and all-knowing. Certainly, he knew how his messenger struggled to help his people. He was aware of sufferings of Noah and those who believed him. He gave a long time to the unbelievers on earth, but most of them did not believe him. Allah the Almighty accepted the prayer of his messenger. Do not grieve, he said. We will save you and those who believe in with you. The wrongdoers will be drowned. Now do not wait. Start to build an ark. Noah did not know how to build an ark. Allah the Exalted taught his prophet how to build it. Noah started to work without having a rest. He went to the woods to cut down trees. He then made timber from them and pieced the boards together. In every step, Noah was praying and taking refuge with his Lord. He was living with the dream of the day that he was going to finish the ark. When the prominent members of his society saw him working so hard, they said, Oh, Noah, we see that you have given up prophethood and become a carpenter. You are not saying those strange words to us any more. When is the day of punishment that you were talking about? Noah was smiling. Without raising his head, he said, Keep mocking me. Very soon you will know upon whom a wretched punishment will come. The time passed like a flowing river. In the end, Noah completely built his ark. The ark was ready to float on the water. Noah was happy to finish his job. Allah said to him, O oh Noah, it is time. Now take the believers of your family and your community to your ark and a couple from every animal species. Upon this commandment, Noah started to gather the animals living on the earth. Cow, sheep, camel, horse, lion, tiger, elephant, giraffe, snake, scorpions, monkey. He took a couple of animals from every created species. He placed them in shelters that he built on the ark. Then he said to the believers, Come on, get on the ark, moving with the command of Allah. Both its floating and stopping takes place with the command of Allah. Indeed, my Lord is forgiving and preserving. His family and all the believers got on the ark. However, Noah's wife and one of his sons did not get on board because they were also unbelievers.